I would be lying if I said I tried to record this video a few times, but the wind was picking up. I tell you what's picking up. The title fight in Scotland as Rangers are going to Kelly. They're going to Rugby Park Wednesday night. I didn't. I forgot to put a poll up, and by the time I got a poll up today, I mean, it is Tuesday by afternoon. I mean, there's not much. But I mean, there is a point. There's always a point. I might just put a poll up, it, up it anyway after this match. But at the same time, troops, you can't exactly, you know... Be only taking a, a few percentages of the folk then calling it quite you have to let elections run but uh, anyway to the guy that said about Real Madrid and said that well you're making out Kelly like Real Madrid of course I am because Kelly I like the Galacticos no but in all seriousness Rugby Park is a tough place to go but the fact of this man if Rangers turn up the way we have been playing in recent weeks we'll beat Kelly but plastic pitches you know when you show up on pitches that aren't exactly ideal then it is a wee bit mince you can't dispute that you know you've seen it at St Mirren when we won 1-0 not plastic but it's a shite enough game um, and St Johnston when we won 3-0 another shite pitch and I like the fact that Clement calls all this shite out because it makes a change than just us calling it out but at the end of the day there's a, I think this, this game should have been on telly tonight man there's a separate rant in that right but Honestly, I, I do not understand for the life of me how we've got an Ember Derby on, not on TV. We've got Rangers away to Kelly, which in a title fight is absolutely massive. And hell, you've even sell to get home to Dundee, which obviously turns out to... I mean, see in an ideal world, you would have like the Ember Derby and both Old Farm games on TV tonight at different times, probably just to facilitate, obviously, the, the amount of viewers that need to watch it at the end of the day, because obviously putting three games on at the same time is not ideal, that's more of a, you know, last weekend sort of gimmick, if we're being honest, for uh, the good old Premier League, you see that. But well, what's going to happen, obviously back in the day, you know, with Satanta and all that good stuff, you had much better TV deals as the dog is pulling me over to some daffodils, Rangers need to pull me towards three points or themselves towards three points. Right, come on, son. What, what, what's this all about? Well, acting all good, and then as soon as I go to start talking, you start acting mince. But one thing I hope's not mince is Rangers in this game of football, man. We can't, we simply just, we simply can't afford to drop points. I, I mean, well, I say we simply can't afford. Obviously, if we draw, there's still a really good chance we'd be top of the league, but you need to keep this buffer. You do, you need to keep this buffer, because this buffer that we've got right now, if you take this into the old firm at Ibrox, look how crucial that is. Because going for two to five is much better than going for a joint to three. You know, obviously after this, we've got four four more games, but I mean, I crunched the numbers yesterday if you want to go to it. I think that's an easy 12 points. You, know, you can't take it off for a given, but come on. It's Goldson came out and said yesterday about Clement that he's when we score five, he wants six, and if we score six, he wants seven. That's exactly what I want. What I don't want is rain, because that's currently coming down. But that's what you need, man. The, the, the standards need to be risen. I think I, 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 he's not. It's only recently I think we're starting to score like loads of goals. I know he scored four in his first game, Clement, but a lot of the games were close margins. And I was like, Jeff, we kind of went in for the kill as well. Bill and Gio, they never really did that. I'm not saying they didn't have high scoring wins, because obviously, you know, being Rangers, we are going to get the odd high scoring win regardless of what way the team is set up. But at the end of the day, I, I like a manager that's going like that. Because you know what? The goal difference could be crucial. Goal difference could absolutely be crucial. You look back uh, over 20 years ago and Arteta scored that penalty against the Femlin. You know, what a crucial um, game that was to get goals in because the goal difference was so close. No, be I think even if he didn't score that, it wouldn't have mattered too much because we had still scored one more goal than Celtic. But the fact of the matter is this, Troops, we need to just put teams away by the sword because it makes the nerves easy. It's easier, it's easier for the heart and all that good stuff. And also, it means that, you know, come the end of the season, you'll have an impeccable goal difference. If you are joint on points, all you got to do is match Celtic's result sort of thing rather than worry about, oh, well, if they're at home against Shite Levy, even though they're going to be in the split. Which kind of makes the split good, but if they're at home against who's the shit team in the split, I mean, if Dundee sneak in, I say sneak in, they're already in it, but if they sneak in, um, and Celtic are at home, and you know, it's easier for them to beat them 5 0 at Celtic Park than it would be for us away to Rugby Park and need to score like five goals, even though, you know, not too long ago, Kyle Lafferty laid the smack down there. But the point is, we need to get the goal difference up. Right now, what is it, plus six, which is good considering the turnaround, obviously, right? I know that's coming because I argue, oh, well, goal difference is a bit greedy. Well, I'm a greedy man. Obviously, back 
but arse end of September, you wouldn't have been greeting too much about goal difference because it was points we were greeting about. But anyway, guys, I think Rangers will win. Um, I'm not saying it'll be easy, but what we need is an early goal to settle the nerves. And and also, if, if we do manage to draw points in this game, I don't want, you know, the toys shouldn't be thrown at the pram because Clement still, still did a fantastic job at the end of the day. And the league would be no by no means over. And I wouldn't even say the pendulum would swing back to Celtic's favour. Even if we lost them back top of the league, I would say back down favour. I mean, yeah, that's been consistent this season. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go two more radios. Go serial dessers. Go test. You got a cheeky wee goal.